Hello, today's chemistry video is on the Chatelier's principle. What a wonderful principle it is. If only it was called the Smith principle, then I'd get my pronunciation a lot better. But never mind. Let's have a look and a think about this through song. So this is our formula we're thinking of here. It's a reversible reaction. We're going to think about the Chatelier's principle. So let's have a little think. So, one, two, three. In a reversible reaction, if you're at equilibrium, Change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then The system will counteract the change to balance things again Le Chatelier's principle is a most wonderful thing Here's our formula In a reversible reaction if you're at equilibrium And you change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then the system will counteract the change to balance things again. Le Chatelier's principle is a most wonderful thing. And let's look at an example of this, ladies and gentlemen. So here's our reversible reaction, A plus 2B. There's the symbol for reversible reaction, we can C and D. So it's a backwards and forwards thing. If I were to increase the concentration of A, now it's not balanced. So it pushes the whole reaction forwards or to the right, you see? If I change C and increase C, it would shift back to the left. It's keeping things in balance, you see? Very important. That's his whole principle. Let's go through the basic principle again, so we're happy with it. In a reversible reaction, if you're at equilibrium And you change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then The system will counteract the change to balance things again Le Chatelier's principle is the most wonderful thing In a reversible reaction, if you're at equilibrium And you change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then The system will counteract the change to balance things again Le Chatelier's principle is a most wonderful thing. So again, let's look at another thing. Pressure. If we change the pressure, you simply add up the molecules on each side. So A plus 2B gives you three molecules. If you look at C and D, that gives you two molecules. So think about pressure. If you increase the pressure, which way is it going to force the reaction? To the right. Shift it forward because there are more reactants on the left than on the right. Hence, for pressure changes it. In a reversible reaction, if you're at equilibrium And you change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then The system will counteract the change to balance things again Le Chatelier's principle is the most wonderful thing So we go over this over and over again In a reversible reaction, if you're at equilibrium And you change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then The system will counteract the change to balance things again Le Chatelier's principle is the most wonderful thing. You see, with this principle, the same happens with temperature. If you increase the temperature, it moves towards an endothermic reaction. If you decrease the temperature, you move towards an exothermic reaction. And they're the principles we need to remember, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing too complicated there. Irreversible reaction. If you're at equilibrium and you change the conditions, alter temporal pressure then. The system will counteract the change to balance things again. Le Chatelier's principle is a most wonderful thing. Oh yes, Le Chatelier's principle is a most wonderful thing.